cough. It is not giving you a cough. Please can go back. It's lovely. Come on, catch up, catch up. Just over that thing. Feel full of rabbits. Is there any felicity in the world superior to this? I told you it would rain. There's some blue sky. Let us chase it. I'm not supposed to run. Ah! Marianne! <laughs> Are you hurt? Ah! <laughs> Margaret, I do not think I can walk. You must run and I fetch help. This way. I will run as fast as I can. Afraid. He's quite safe. Are you hurt? Only my ankle. May I have your permission to ascertain if there are any breaks? It is not broken. Now, can you put your arm about my neck? Allow me to escort you home. Ankle. Do not be alarmed, Mama. Please place the needle. I can assure you it's not serious. I took the liberty of feeling the bone and it's perfectly sound. Sir, I cannot even begin to thank you. Please do not think of it. I'm honored to be of service. Please, will you not be seated? Pray excuse me. I have no desire to leave a watermark. But permit me to call tomorrow afternoon and inquire after the patient. We, sh we shall look forward to it. You're most kind. I'm sure you are. Thank you. Margaret, give the gentleman his hat. Thank you. His name, his name. His name. Please, could you tell us to whom we are so much obliged? John Willoughby of Allenham, at your service, Mark. John Willoughby of Allenham. What an impressive gentleman. He lifted me as if I weighed no more than a dried leaf. Is he human? <laughs> tell me if I hurt you. She feels no pain, Mama. <laughs> Margaret, um, ask Betsy to make up a cold compress, please. Oh. Quickly as you can. Oh, please don't say anything important. Go on, go on. Did you see him? He expressed himself well, did he not? With great decorum and honour. And spirit and wit and feeling. And economy. Ten words at most. Oh, and he is to come tomorrow. Marianne, you must change. You will catch a cold. What care I for colds when there is such a man? You will care very much when your nose swells up. You are right. Help me, Eleanor. 